As soon as you solve one problem, another takes its place. The biscuits were running short. Three. One, two, three. Mouse thought a secret supply might come in useful, and he knew just where to hide it. Tuffy had also been worrying about supplies running out. Well, what do we do now? What do you mean? Rafters. What's wrong with fruit? Nothing, except we haven't found any yet. I like cheese and eggs. Look, Miles, this is Glass of Ryland, not number 20 Broad Street. He can't help it if he likes eggs. Well, you'd better find him an egg tree then, hadn't you? <laughs> Mouse had never seen an egg tree. He didn't know what egg trees looked like. Tuffy said there weren't such things, but if there were, they'd probably be egg-shaped. He said they'd be much more likely to find fruit trees on Grasshopper Island, but Mouse wouldn't listen. So Tuffy went one way in search of a fruit tree, and Mouse went the other in search of an egg tree. Tuffy hadn't gone far before he started worrying about snakes. Suppose he trod on one, or necked one, dangling from a tree. Smarty was looking for wild corn to grind into flour to turn into biscuits when he came to a strange pool full of frogs. He forgot about finding corn and decided to start a frog farm instead. All this time, Tuppy was keeping his eyes shut and his ears closed. It's a mistake people often make when they're frightened. What they imagine is usually far worse than what's there. There are days when nothing works. Smarty sat by the pool all afternoon, but he didn't catch a single frog. Mouse was luckier. When he saw where the chick was heading, he was sure he'd found what he was looking for. It didn't take long to fetch Tuppy and Smarty. An egg, look, it's an egg tree! It wasn't easy, but Mouse managed to catch one. It was a very likeable chick. Tuppy thought they should take it home and Smarty agreed that a chicken farm would be better than a frog farm. But when they got home, the chick wouldn't eat. How about fish? That's no good either. 
little guy. If only we had some of those biscuits left. I've just remembered. Mouse soaked a biscuit and mashed it into a smooth paste. And it was just what the chip needed. It began to look quite lively and hopeful. Eggs for breakfast soon, Mouse. In six months, to be precise, if we're lucky. Great! Eggs don't grow on trees, of course. Hens lay them and hatch them into chicks on Grasshopper Island like anywhere else. Was their chick a cock or a hen? Tuffy said poultry farmers had to know these things and fruit farming might be easier. He'd seen huge fig trees growing wild on the hillside. While he discussed fruit farms, the hungry chick finished up all their biscuits. <laughs>